This is Joe Kelly. Today we're going to be talking about a trick question. We're going to be talking about the secret recipe to acting. Um, so I've polled my group and maybe you were in that poll and I've asked around, you know, what actors think the secret recipe to acting is. And it was interesting because, um, what people responded really corresponds to the legend out there that there is a secret recipe to acting that if you learn your lines really well, then you're free from the text and then you'll do good. That if you, you know, hang in there and work for a very long time and act for a very long time, then you're good. Then if you're confident, you really have to trust yourself. You really have to be confident. That's the secret ingredient that um, you really have to understand the character. If you understand the character, then you're good, right? So there's so many things that people are saying. You have to forget the camera, uh, you know, the experience. It's hard work, that if you work hard, then that's the secret recipe to acting. Sorry that I'm smiling because I, I don't mean to be condescending at all because, because there's a reason why we think there is a secret recipe to acting out there we do think there is a secret recipe to acting out there. So let me come to that in a second. But yes, um, people mention breathing, relaxing is the key secret to acting, um, focusing, concentrating. There, there are so many opinions and takes on what is the secret recipe. If you just do that, then you'll nail it. It's, it's quite impressive, actually. And so, yes, the reason why we think um, that there is a secret recipe to acting is because of two things. First of all, the way we were conditioned, the way we were raised, all of us as a culture, is to believe that what is right, what is good, and what is true comes from the outside. We were not raised, educated, and loved to believe that what works for me is inside of me. No, we were raised by being told that we don't know much, listen to others and please others, right? Do what others tell you and please them. And if you don't, um, there'll be consequences. So that is conditioning. That is the, the taming of your instrument, right? So there's that on one side. So you're raised to believe that Whatever is your next step, whatever is good, whatever is better, whatever is knowledge comes from the outside. And then you're in an industry where every acting class out there is selling you a method, a technique, a recipe that will in eight points get you to book every audition, right? So there's the culture and there's the conditioning. And of course the culture is coming from the conditioning because the people making the culture were conditioned the exact same way that you and I were conditioned, which is we were, sh you know, information was shoved down our throat from the outside. Like, no, you don't get a say into how your education is going to go. You don't get a say in what you're going to feel as a person. Let me tell you what you're supposed to feel. I'm going to tell you you're not supposed to cry. I'm going to tell you as your parent that you're not supposed to be angry. I'm not, I'm going to tell you that you're not supposed to disagree, right? And you're not even supposed to be super happy too loud turn it down, right? And then you go to school and the teachers will tell you that you're supposed to sit, behave like everybody else, be like everybody else, and kind of throw yourself out the window, right? So inevitably, if everyone is raised and conditioned that way, well, what does the, what do those people produce as a system if they become, you know, a part of the entertainment industry and they open an acting school? Well, they're gonna create a method, a theory, inside of which you will become a great actor, right? So like a, an external thing to you that if you apply, it will work. And it's, I think it's kind of very specific to acting uh, because there's not that many arts that demand, you know, steps. Like do these eight steps and you'll have the perfect painting. Um, art cannot be reduced to steps or technique it's or method it's much 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 bigger than that it's like not comparable right so again 
I'm not criticizing the thoughts that you may have about what the secret to acting is, because I understand that the reason why you may think that there's a secret to acting or why people in general may think that is a, a, a result of the fact that we have been conditioned to think that everything comes from the outside. The authority on what is true and good for me is from the outside. And therefore we're in a culture that delivers that outside to your doors. Yeah. If, if you've ever been on the, you know, roller coaster of going from one technique or one method to the next, well, it can be pretty exhausting. Um, that's a lot to do. And, and the more you learn techniques and methods, obviously, the more you walk away from you and from your own perception of what works for you. It's, it's draining physically and also in terms of budget, because the bigger the acting guru, the more expensive it'll be. And you can spend all your money in training like that if you want to look at all the methods and the techniques. What I would like to say is that there is no secret. There is no recipe and really there is no acting. The only thing that there is for you to discover as an actor is you. If there was a secret for you, that would be it. So the thing is when you can be you fully present, fully there, fully open, unconditioned, really fully alive, you don't need to act. You can just be. And how can I prove that? Well, if you look at children, children who are actors or who are not, by the way, because they all act all day long in their living rooms anyway, they've never been to an acting class. They've never taken a workshop. They don't even know what a recipe is. However, they do act. And they do believe in what they're doing. And they're never preoccupied with, am I doing it right or not? They're concerned with being present to the experience that they're giving themselves because that's why they're doing it. Because they want to be the barber or the hairdresser or the mechanic. They want to feel that. They're not yet conditioned enough to think, wait, I need to do it well so others like it. So what's, what's the trick? What's the recipe? What's the theory? What's the external thing that doesn't come from me that I should be doing so that it will be good? They're not there yet. They haven't had the time to be conditioned. What I'm saying is that there is no secret, there's no recipe, and there is no acting. All we need is for you to be open enough just when like you were a child. And when you're open enough, when you're present, when you, with everything that that entails, not you in a good version, not you in a people pleasing version, just the raw you that you don't have access to right now because it's so conditioned and so resistant that you're stuck into your learned behavior. When you can show up as you, there's no effort. There is practically no work. People who free themselves up, who work through their resistances and and who are instinctive, talk about sensations in their acting that they didn't even know was possible or that they always dreamed was possible but never knew they could get there. That is what's possible when there's only you, when you drop acting as a, th as a thing outside of you. Acting is the, the, the capacity to be fully alive. Can anyone teach you that? No, it's about being you because me being fully, fully alive really does not look the same as when my neighbor is fully alive. We're all very unique and specific. And so you want to be able to do the work that undoes the formatting, undoes the conditioning, undoes all of that resistance so that you can get to the real version of you. And when, that person walks in the room, there's a human being. There's not an actor. And that's what casting directors are looking for. They're not looking for good actors. They're looking for people who can fool others for truth. They're looking for people who are actually carrying their full self, their full, authentic, instinctive, and free self, whether that's good or bad. 
whether it's in the breakdown or not, whether it fits this description, if you can come bigger than what is written, it doesn't mean you're pushing, it doesn't mean you're acting. If you can just be yourself, that's the only thing that you need. And that's the only work that most people don't want to do. It's your foundation. It doesn't mean you have to be a beginner. In the reset journey, we have people who are A-level. We have people who are starting. It doesn't matter. Your instrument is your raw material. Your raw material <clears throat> sorry, needs to be taken care of all the time. Because if you don't, everything else that you're doing, all the other secrets that people were mentioning, like learn your lines super well. Great. If I learn my lines really well and my instrument is not free, what's that going to do? I'm just going to say my lines with half of an instrument? That can't do anything good. If, um, if people were saying, forget the camera. Okay, let's say I forget the camera. I can be delusional enough to think there's no camera. What is that going to do if my instrument is 80% free or 20% free. If I am not here, nothing else matters. Absolutely nothing else. When you stop looking for external tricks and recipes and secrets outside of you and you start turning your attention inward, the amount of power, energy, instinct, flow, creativity that you will find in there is beyond what anyone could explain. It's limitless and it's, it can create worlds. It's absurd. And people who are resetting themselves to be free inside of the reset journey, which is the program that we do, the work that we do, you can see their testimonials in the Instinctive Actors group or on, on Instagram. It's just like, it's incredible. It's incredible when you, not, not the program is incredible, but when you can be your full self, what you will experience is incredible. And the level of effort that will need to be in your acting is zero because you'll be, there'll be no reason to act. Just like children, not putting on a, you know, something to play a scene. They're just being themselves, right? Okay, so if you want any information, about the reset journey. If you've never heard about this, let us know um, in the comments. I'll share free training. Uh, stop trying to be a good actor so you have a chance of being great. I'll share that in the comments. And um, if you have any questions or comments, put them in there too. If you want to be part of this and you've looked at our content for a while and you, you're ready and you feel that this resonates and you want to reset, um, write reset in the in the comments and or write information in the comments if you don't know what I'm talking about and you would like some information we'll get in touch with you and um, and we'll let you know when you can start all right okay thank you guys bye